Hey guys, Mo Madden, you here again with another Flight Simulator 2020 add-on. Uh, we're still looking at Sky Vector, uh, but today uh, we're going to do something a little different. Um, as you know, you create flight plans in Sky Vector, and uh, a lot of us start out this way, uh, but they're not easily, uh, or till now, they have not easily been importable into Sky Vector. So I wrote, I'm sorry, into Flight Simulator. So I just wrote a small app. Um, description for the release is in the link below and uh, just going to give you a short tutorial on how to use it. So the first thing you're going to do is create your flight plan. Um, like normally we would sky vector. Go up to here this little arrow. It's kind of a new feature, semi-new feature. Send plan to and uh, we're going to use the .fpl format. None of these formats are very good. Um, they don't have altitude information. They don't have a lot of things are missing, but we're going to do the best we can. So you're going to choose FPL, and then you're going to pick uh, download Garmin.fpl, and that will put that in your downloads folder. Okay, so we'll just let that sit for a bit to say that we've exported it to a .fpl file. And you're going to go ahead and get the release uh, of the converter, and you're going to want to uh, extract that to a local local file folder. Uh, you'll get three files here. Double click on the exe. And you're going to get this green screen thing. Uh, yeah, more info, run anyway. Doesn't require admin, so should be fine. Uh, tiny little box will come up. You can specify your cruising altitude because unfortunately it does not get exported. So let's go to 12. Uh, I think at 12,000, we're going to go to fly the the TBM today. Um, and then you say choose file to convert. And our file is sitting here in the downloads. That's the FPL file. It only works with FPL files. So uh, we pick our FPL file. We say open. Uh, I didn't do too much to give you feedback as whether or not it got converted. But uh, it did get converted. And uh, what you'll see now is alongside of your FPL file, you will see the PLN file, which is the one that Flight Simulator uses to uh, load its flight, flight plans. So, now that we know we've created the flight plan for Flight Sim, go into Flight Slim, get all these guys out of the way, bring up Sim app, uh, you just pick your airplane, load save, and go to our downloads folder. And there's the ACY PLN that we generated from the FPL. Open that up. And there it is. Um, so you notice the um, this mood lighting here. Sorry, right around five. The golden hour. There it is. Um, <laughs> so what you see here is that we have pretty much copied our Sky Vector flight plan, plan into this. Um, does a fairly good job. Um, it's kind of interesting. It knew that K -Bed was Bedford Hanscom and it knew that uh, ACY was Atlantic City. That was not in the uh, in the actual FPL. But um, unfortunately it does not. Um, it tries to come up with a, uh, a cruising altitude which it does pick up, but then it says uh, that you're cruising, it starts here and your uh, top of descent is here. So it's not exactly accurate because top of descent is actually here. Um, but the good news is that you don't have to type these in to your FMS. Um, so, I, I, you know, it's, it's okay. Um, my real goal is to use um, a, an app that generates a load sheet because the, the good stuff really right the good stuff is in the load sheet and then that that goes into the FMS for the for the big jets so things like you know your V speeds and your N1 rates and cost basis <laughs> um, those are not in the flight plan those are those are actually in the flight file the FLT not the PLN so uh, I'm hoping to get something going with that other file but for now essentially um, you will get your at least your sky vector flight plan into uh, flight sim 2020 very 
quickly. So you don't have to type these in the FMS. And yeah, it works for the G, G, G1000, 3000, 5000, 6000. Gonna get five. Um, and the uh, also FMS standard legs page. Um, one interesting thing, it did not know um, this VOR, SEY, but it accepted it because um, SEY is actually not in the database. It's really weird. It's a very common VOR, but it's just it's just not there. A lot of things are not there. It's weird. This data, this nav data is so out out of date. It's very weird. But anyway, it, it will put it in there for you. Um, what you cannot do is you cannot choose an approach now. Now that you've loaded your waypoints and you say, oh gee, I want to pick an approach, what you can do is you can very gently go to your gate parking and change your location so you're not going to start on the runway. That's useful, right? Otherwise, you're going to start on the runway. So now, at least, we uh, our true departure now is sitting on the ramp. Uh, so we're not, if you wanted to go into VATSIM, you're not going to go blowing onto the runway. So that's good. Uh, what you can't do is touch really much of anything else. If I want to start my approach here, as soon as I do this, gone. Changes my flight plan. Why? I don't know. I just wanted a an approach. Um, so we just killed that. But the good news is, of course, we have it saved, so we'll just reload it. And ta-da, we're back. Okay. So I'm not going to bring it into the airplane and watch you have you watch it me have it watch it load for four minutes. Um, so anyway, just trust me, it will go into the plane. Um, so there it is. It's just a little a little utility. Um, here it is. Just this little guy right here. That's all it is. And uh, that's it. Um, look for something better in the future. I'm not going to do too much more with this. But uh, hopefully it was useful and uh, you'll get some, some good use out of it. So thanks very much.